Hey guys, one twenty five here watching Launch of CRS fifteen. Top SpaceX Falcon 9. Gas closeouts complete. Stage one tanks pass over foot. Two minutes, thirteen seconds. Two minus ten. Five, nine, eight, eight seven. seven. Six, five, four, one, three, three, two, two one. one. Ignition and liftoff. Lift off. And the Falcon 9. Also, uh, the first stage of this vehicle is not going to be recovered. And there you saw we had a successful liftoff of the Falcon 9. Uh, if you were watching closely, you also saw the strong back retract just during uh, that initial part. Uh, we're currently throttling down the main engines in order to minimize some of the pressure as we move through supersonic. And coming up next, uh, max Q, which is the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure. The vehicle the is supersonic. And then we just had a call out the vehicle Sonic. Max Q coming up shortly. That's when the rocket's moving very quickly and hasn't quite gotten out of the atmosphere. So it's getting a lot of pressure. The vehicle has reached maximum dynamic pressure. And then it's made it through that milestone, which is a, a major part of every rocket launch. <coughs> Coming up about 45 oh, seconds from now, we'll have a few events in quick succession. Uh, the main engine will walk off, the two stages will separate, and the second stage will ignite. Yeah, like I said, first stage is not going to be a code, but I don't love fairings. And back engine chill. Uh, the call out for MVAC engine chill uh, means that just like the first stage engine, the second stage engine is also being cooled down uh, to be ready for uh, moving all that super cold propellant through it. Uh, that main engine cutoff event coming up not too long from now. And we have Miko. Miko. And separation. And there you saw it. Uh, the main engine's cut off. Impact ignition. The two stages separated. And MVAC burning really bright. MVAC uh, course shot from low impact. Has here. begun. Uh, the second stage is now carrying Dragon towards low Earth orbit. Uh, again, we are not uh, following the first stage. Vehicle is on a nominal trajectory. Uh, we're not recovering this one. In fact, it's the last Block 4 vehicle as we transition to Block 5. Which is why they're not recovering it. Well, they could just give it to a museum or something. I don't know what they just said, but it sounds like Bermuda acts of signal. Which means where the tracking station at Bermuda has received or is receiving telemetry data from the vehicle. We're now at T plus four. Now the Merlin vacuum engine is looking great, and we are on a nominal trajectory towards that initial low Earth orbit. And a second it's going to drop Dragon off in that low Earth orbit, and Dragon will be raising itself over the next three days to 
connect and, or to rendezvous with the International Space Station. Rendezvous and be berthed to the International Space Station, if you want to put it. Uh, it'll be there for food. about a month. Uh, and then it will also be bringing back the uh, that latching end effector, which is the, the hand of cannon arm. Uh, we'll be bringing back the old one when it returns. Position at New Hampshire. I, I don't know what that was that was just said. Uh, you'll also notice that the the there's a lot more detail that you can see on the uh, Merlin vacuum it's flying into daylight right now, which is why some of that uh, some of that detail is more visible. T plus five and a half minutes. Uh, Merlin vacuum engine still performing nominally, headed on the right trajectory to get to low Earth orbit. Has about three minutes remaining in this burn. It's an interesting semantic point uh, that the process of connecting drag to the International Space Station is called berthing, uh, with an E, uh, because it is into the station by Canadarm, uh, while docking refers specifically to two spacecraft that connect without any external assistance. Uh, this stems from the old shipping days in which small ships would come into harbor and dock themselves under their own power. Or be but larger ships, which aren't able to navigate as easily in harbors, are met by tugboats and then berthed. Uh, so, for the International Space Station, that robotic Canadarm is like a tugboat, like and a so Dragon is also tugboat, berthed. Or a space tug. <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Vehicle remains on a nominal trajectory. Just coming up on T plus seven minutes. Uh, the vehicle still on a, a nominal trajectory toward more low Earth orbit. And Merlin vacuum engine still performing great. We've got about a minute and ten seconds. Uh, second stage burn. T plus eight minutes. Stage two is in terminal guidance. Uh, one second. Uh, it's starting to throttle the end back D engine. Prepare for shutdown. And that shutdown event coming up uh, only a few seconds from now. What? Nico. Well, and there you can see the there. second stage engine has shut down. Nominal orbit insertion. And we've also just got that the orbit uh, that the second stage and Dragon are in is a nominal orbit. Which is basically just saying, yeah, that's the orbit we wanted. Uh, so at the moment, uh, both Dragon and the second stage are coasting. Uh, Meaning just flying through space. And Dragon is shortly going, going to off. deploy from the second stage. Uh, that's when the second stage is going to release 
least it can carry itself to the International Space Station over the next couple of days. Uh, few, three days, to be specific. Good. We want specificity. Is that a word? There you go, you can see Dragon floating away. Okay. And there you see it. Dragon has successfully deployed. And SpaceX employed. Happy about that. Quite understandably, I believe. Or I believe I know they deserve to be happy. But the thing they made has not gone uh, um, We've got a number are. of important uh, steps still coming up. Uh, the solar array is going to deploy next. Uh, the solar arrays uh, power Dragon during its uh, rendezvous process uh, with uh, the International Space Station. Um, that process itself consists of several engine burns. Uh, those are height adjustment and co-elliptic burns. And those adjust the orbits to get it closer to the International Space Station and then uh, to finally do by the Canadarm. Uh, so during the last about 30 kilometers or so, uh, where Dragon and ISS are uh, close enough, uh, they'll establish a direct communications link, and then Dragon will approach, pause at several checkpoints along the way to ensure everything is still going as expected, and eventually, in the early hours of Monday morning, uh, Pacific Time, Dragon will be close enough for the Canadarm to Crapple. grab it. Yes, that's going to be fun. Those solar arrays will be deploying uh, just under a minute from now. We're hoping to be able to. This is Dragon CC on countdown. Dragon video system that. has successfully primed, and all thrusters report ready for firing. Okay, so basically that's just saying, yep, yeah, Dragon's engines are fine. coming up just a couple seconds from now. From there, yeah, you can see the solar panels going on. And there you can see uh, those solar arrays are slowly unfolding uh, in order to be generating power for Dragon over the next three days. That's actually the back side of the solar arrays that you can see at the moment. It's the front sides, uh, of course, which will actually be generating that power. And they can rotate to try to sunlight on fairly short. And another view of those solar arrays. Looking great, just coasting there above the earth in the background. Uh, so at this point, uh, Dragon is coasting on its way to the International Space Station. Its mission isn't over yet. It's going to be spending the next couple days, uh, three days again, approaching the International Space Station, arriving uh, on Monday, July 2nd, in the early hours of the morning Pacific time. It's going to spend about one month at the space station, and the arrival of Dragon to the space station and the grapple, where Canadarm actually reaches out to grab it, uh, will be streamed live on NASA TV starting at about 5.30 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, so again, we had a successful on-time launch of Falcon 9. Uh, the two stages separated, and the second stage into low Earth orbit. Uh, and Dragon is now on its way. Uh, so thanks to NASA, uh, the range, and the FAA for supporting us in today's mission, and thanks to you, the viewer, for joining us and watching it. Uh, if you'd like to join us here at SpaceX as a career, uh, please check us out at spacex.com slash careers. Otherwise, look for further updates on our social media accounts, and we'll see you next time. So that was on to see our team on month 25. Goodbye.